Hello and welcome back to our lessons. In this video, we are going to learn how to capture leads using a lead magnet. We are going to employ the file element in combination with the user input element so that we can capture the email address of our subscribers and then we will give the file where they can download it after they gave their email address. So let's begin. As you may remember, this is the flow that we have created from the previous lesson, the file element lesson. So we are going to modify this using the previous knowledge that we have learned before. So example, we are going to delete this and let's retain the file here for download and let's add another text element here and let's connect it here. So let's say this will be my opt-in start. So our strategy here is we are going to first ask for the user's email address before we are going to give the file that we have uploaded. So let's say hi, okay, the first name of our um, subscriber. And then then in order to get your free PDF download, please let us know your email address so we can send the file you want on your email as well. Okay. So after that, we can provide the um, the quick reply as the email where people will only need to click the email quick reply and we would have the email address of that person. So mind you, um, using quick reply email type, the email email of the subscriber will only show up if they have registered or they made their email as public on their profile settings. So by default, the email of our subscribers are public. But there are cases where the user has set their email in private. So the email quick reply would not always work. So we must have a backup plan. So let's say click your email on the button below. And then after that, we are going to use an, a hand emoji here. So let's click the point down emoji close this. So click your email on the button below. And after that, we can add a simple, let's say, disclaimer. So if you are not seeing your email, simply type your best used email instead. Okay, so after that, we are going to confirm the changes and we are going to use the quick reply um, button here. So in this case, we are going to use the email type and confirm the changes. And after that, we are going to use a user input. So the user input here, here will be used to store the email that the user have provided for us. And also it will serve as a catch basin where if people um, don't have the email publicly available in their profile, they can just type the email on the input field and the user input would be able to capture that as well. So they can either click the, um, the quick reply email or if this is not available, they can type it. So in both ways, we can capture the email of our subscriber. So let's say we are going to create a new variable here and let's say this is our opt-in okay opt-in email and then confirm the changes so for this example we are not yet going to attach the google sheet here so let's just confirm the changes and after that we are going to connect here to another text element so let's say this would become our thank you message okay let's congratulate our subscriber after they finish providing us the email thank you and then first name we got your email your email is and then add the user input variable here. So click custom and then let's select the opt-in email and then add it on our message. You can now click the, the free PDF download file below. Okay. And then we are going to add a hand pointing down emoji here and confirm the changes. And what we need to do here is we are going to connect this text element and our PDF here. So what would happen is this element would be sent first and then this element will be sent second. So notice here that this element does not have the label anymore. So the reason why is because this element is not a standalone message. This element, the file element, will now be sent together with the parent connecting element here because we connected it using the continue to next step connection. Had we connected it on a button or a quick reply, then it would become a standalone message. But again, since we connected it on the continue to next step, it will become just a part of our message chain. So we are now going to save this and send a test. All right, we can now click send test. So let's read it. Great. So we just received our test message. So let's read it first. Hi, Calvin. In order to get your free PDF download, please let us know your email address so we can send the file you want on your email as well. Click your email on the button below. So this is what is being meant here, the email quick reply. But again, as I have explained earlier, there are cases that this email would not show up if the 
the user did not set the email as public on their personal profile. So if so if ever those cases arise, then we have our backup plan here. So if you are not seeing your email, simply type your best email instead. So they can either click this or they can type their best email. So in this case, let's test by clicking the email that um, Facebook has provided for us via quick reply. All right, so we just received the reply. And as you can see here, thank you, Calvin. We got your email. Your email is, so it was saved as a user input. And the user can now download their free PDF download. So that's one way. So another way is, let's say we want to add a trigger here. Okay, let's add a trigger and add a keyword. So let's say this is for file. Okay, that is our keyword trigger. We can now save this and test our flow again. So after saving, we can now go back here and type the file keyword. So let's type the file keyword so that our flow gets triggered again. All right, this is now our flow. In this case, instead of clicking the quick reply, let's type our email address instead. Type email address at gmail.com. Okay, so this is now our email address. So if we enter this, it will be saved as well on our user input. And as you can see, it was saved here and we are going to receive the free PDF download. So that is a very quick and simple example of how we can use the file element together with the user input as a strategy to get the email address and send email marketing campaigns to that subscriber later on. So we are going to discuss more use cases for this on the upcoming videos, so stay tuned.